Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friend. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Come on in here and sit down with me. Grab a seat at the table here. Get yourself something hot or cold to drink. Open your Bible up. Let's uh, look at the Psalms today. We're going to look at Psalm 102. And if you're an afflicted man, if you're a troubled man, if you are a poor man, do I have a prayer for you? It's right here, Psalm 102. Now, we saw yesterday he opens with his request. Hear, let my cry come, hide not your face, incline your ear, answer me speedily. All the things that we would say when we are in a, in a place where we have to hear from the Lord, right? We would say all of these things. We would say say just like this. Don't hide your face from me in the day when I'm in trouble. And what day is that? Well, I don't know about you, but it's every day for me. I'm in trouble a lot. Incline thy ear unto me. When do I need him to listen? Do I ever want him not to listen? I mean, seriously, why do I go through the process of prayer? Why do I actually, you know, uh, put my face in my hands, in my closet, and say a prayer if I don't want God to listen? I always want him to listen to me. Incline your ear is always my request. In the day when I call, and what day is that? Well, it's today. You know, in the day when I call is today. Today is the day of salvation. In the day when I call, answer me speedily. Don't wait. Don't tarry. You know, don't pretend. Don't wait to see if I'm serious about it. I've got trouble right now. So come and answer me speedily. Now, today we're going to find out why he's making such a request. And here it is. Let me read for us today verses 3, 4, and 5. For my days are consumed like smoke. And my bones are burned as an hearth. My heart is smitten and withered like grass. So I forget to eat my bread. By reason of the voice of my groaning, my bones cleave to my skin. So we see his trouble. We we begin to see his trouble here. For my days are consumed. Now, he uses a lot of similitudes. You'll notice it's like smoke as an hearth, like grass, um, then in six, we have like a pelican, like an owl, as a sparrow. Yeah, so, uh, and and then again in nine, like bread. So he uses a lot of similitude here to help us to understand his complaint and his trouble and his affliction. Consumed like smoke. What does smoke do? It got, it's gone, right? You see the smoke and then you don't because it dissipates. It just goes away. The wind hits it, and it's gone. You can no longer see the smoke. The little particles that make up that cloud of smoke get distributed within the great volume of the, of the air of the world, and it's just, just like that. It's gone. And honestly, that's kind of how tiny our life is. That's, that's the idea that my days are consumed like smoke. It's just here for one moment. I can see it, and then the wind hits it, and it is diluted within the entire volume of air that is on this globe. My bones are burned as in a hearth. So here's the intensity of his affliction. It's like what's burned in a hearth, that red, white heat that's in that hearth. So that's how intense this burning is for him. My heart is smitten and withered like grass. So smitten and withered, how does grass grow? Well, we see it grow, but then all of a sudden it's gone. You know, it, it withers into nothing. It, and we look for the place of it, and we're like, why is there a bare spot here? Last week there was grass in this spot. That's how quickly it withers, and that's how empty and, and weak the heart is. By reason of the voice of my groaning, my bones cleave to my skin. So he's been groaning so long, and he's in such pain that we have the picture of a living skeleton. We've all seen those pictures of people's of people that we would say are skin and bones, right? And literally, some people are just that. There's absolutely no muscle underneath that skin. It's just bone. And you can see the bone. You can count them. So this is his complaint. So is anybody else like this? Does anybody feel this way? 
consumed. My days are consumed. My bones are burned. My heart is smitten. I forget to eat my bread. By reason of the voice of my groaning, my bones cleave to my skin. So he's trying to describe to the Lord in a prayer that he's asking the Lord to hear and answer his condition. This is how bad it is. And ladies and gentlemen, his condition is just like our condition. So we need to pray this prayer too. That's what I mean by that. We need to pray this prayer too. Join me again tomorrow. We'll look at 6, 7, and 8 here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.